Hey guys, it's Annika. Welcome to my Chanika. So today I'm going to be doing my February plan with me for my bullet journal. I was really inspired to do like a geometric type theme this month and I was inspired by my last week's spread which I kind of just did like as a spur of the moment. So right now I'm setting up my calendar setup. I'm doing it in pencil first because I fuck up a lot and I'm just doing a 5 by 7 grid but I actually didn't need 5. I was just copying my January one but February is shorter so I didn't actually need 5 columns. I only needed 4 but it's fine whatever. I'm just a fuck up. It's fine. Okay. I really wanted to go all out this month because it's my birthday month and I just wanted to be happy when I opened my bullet journal so I really like put a lot of effort into it and tried to like make it really creative and interesting so my hand lettering on February wasn't the best but I just did that in a pink Crayola super tip marker and I did like a little important dates thing at the bottom then I did my mood tracker I like to include it underneath the calendar just because I feel like there's always space and it's just like kind of awkward I don't know and then I'm writing the headers at the top of the calendar and then I'm gonna go back later and number them and like erase my pencil lines and shit so I took this little scrapbook paper palette that I got from Michaels and it had like all blush tones and I was like perfect I wanted to do something geometric but I also wanted to do something pink because Valentine's Day and shit so yeah so I just took those I cut them out into little triangles and then I used this scotch like tape runner thing and I just kind of pasted them down if you don't really know where to start when you're doing this I say just put one down and then figure it out from there don't plan it out too much I don't know Then I move on to the dreaded sleep tracker. I fucking hate doing this. I have to write out all the hours for every single day and it's just so tedious. So if you guys have any better ideas of how you guys do your sleep trackers, let me know. I really like how it's visual though, so it's kind of worth it. But I did the geometric thing at the top and I put a little piece of yellow scrapbooking paper over it so that there could be some contrast for where I write sleep tracker. Yeah, and then on the next page, I did my YouTube tracker. I highly recommend this if you have a YouTube channel or an Instagram or like an Etsy or something. I don't know. I just feel like it's really helpful, especially like you can see how far you've grown through the month with the sub tracker. And then you can also write down your ideas for videos or products or tutorials or whatever you're doing. You can totally customize it. But yeah, I really like this and I tend to use it. I did take out last month. I had a spending log and I took that out because I never used it. So I'm trying to like adjust my bullet journal to me because that's what bullet journaling is all about. About. It's about finding what you like and finding what works for you. Oh my god, look at me. I'm like an aesthetic Tumblr god. Oh my god. After my YouTube tracker, I have my habit tracker, and this did not take up very much room. I liked this format way better than what I did last month, where I had a bunch of little calendar grids. So I just drew a little icon at the top to like remind me what the thing is, and I'm just gonna fill in the box if I did it or not. Um, but it didn't really take up that much space, so you'll see later. I started to do a collage of my little triangles off to the side. I don't love it, but like honestly, I had nothing else to do there. Um, and I did my mood tracker underneath my calendar, so I don't really know. I'm responding to a text here. Nice, cute, okay. Yeah, this also took a little bit of time, but I kind of enjoyed it. I was just like chilling, watching Shameless, so I was fine with it. So now I'm going back and I'm putting in the numbers. I also erased my lines and kind of outlined the February, if that makes any sense. When I try to look, they disappear Time, can you? And yeah, as you can see here, I didn't need that last week because it was just unnecessary, but you know what? Whatever, I'll just go into March a little bit. Oh, Then I did my January memories section. I like doing this a lot. I use the Planning with K stickers. I fucking love these. I love my memory section because I get to print out little things. I use my Serene Life Picket Pile Printer. I use the app that it like requires you to use or whatever. And I just print out a bunch of like highlights from that month. I decorated a lighter, so I just wanted to like put that in there because I thought it was really cute. And then I'm going back later. That's why it's like a different angle. But I go back and I add some finishing touches on the page because the YouTube tracker looked kind of bland. So I wanted to like, you know, spruce it up a little bit. And then I'm showing you because I'm a fucking Tumblr god. 
and I didn't want to set up my entire weekly spread because I actually enjoy doing that and I wanted to save it for another day so I set up my weekend spread and I like to do this just because I have so many things to do over the weekend and I like to plan out my day like to a T hour by hour so I just thought like that was kind of helpful I don't know it looks like I'm not wearing a shirt but I swear I am so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I tried to like be professional this time and actually film myself doing my monthly spread sorry that I didn't do my first weekly but I'm just a fuck up I can't do anything right but yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video uh, feel free to like tag me in any of your bullet journaling pictures make sure you tag me in the actual photo because I do want to see it like I just want to see like what y'all do so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please comment rate, subscribe suck my dick and keep on bullet journaling I will wish you the best but you already have